Hi guys, <laughs> I'm finally back. Um, this is not on Sunday's brewing, and don't mind the hair. This is a uh, representation of what the uh, last week has been like. Crazy work, uh, stuff with kids. I've got a three-year-old that we're trying to potty train, and he won't potty train. We've got a two-year-old who is climbing out of the crib, but is just not ready for a regular bed. And we've got a one-year-old that's cutting four teeth. It's been that kind of week. That's why I didn't get any uh, homebrew Wednesday out last week. You know, I fit Friday. Not even a 24-ounce Tuesday yesterday, because this is Wednesday again. So what I'm going to do now is a happy homebrew Wednesday and a much-needed... Uh, 24 ounce Tuesday, because I'm bringing, I'm bringing the heat this week, fellas. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it real quick, cause I got too much to talk about. <laughs> I'm scared of this. I've got a backup in case this doesn't work. I'm, I'm, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. All right, this is for you guys, cause I, duh. whew, peer pressure, right? I'm giving in for sure. I'm weak. <laughs> it smells terrible. Oh, it smells like tomato juice. I mean, that's what's in there, right? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> really? I mean, that's not even like a face because of bad beer. Like, I'll drink bad beer, but. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. I'm not, can't do the tomatoes. Back up! Quick back up! <laughs> Yingling! Cheers! 24 ounce Tuesday, homebrew Wednesday. So much better. Really not that bad. Not bad at all. Alright guys, I'm jumping right into it. No more dilly-dallying. Finally gonna give somewhat of a short background of everything that's been going on for the last couple months. Um, as some of you may know, I may have alluded to, love sour beers, love Belgian beers. Um, those are the predominant um, styles that I like to do. I'm going to run down a list of the stuff that's come to fruition in the last couple months. And I'm going to start with a huge line of sours that I started about a year and a half ago at this point. They're probably a year and a half old now. Um, that I bottled up about two and a half months ago. But I've never really talked about it all the way through. And yes, I've got a book that I write small notes in. So I'm going to go down this list and read off the final product of what I got bottled up, what's carving, it's probably carved as much as it's going to go. I'm sure there'll be a little bit more here um, just because of the, you know, the bacteria and, and breadth. They, they might still be working ever so slightly. But here's what I got. This is what finished up recently. I did, I bottled a five-gallon batch. It was supposed to be a Lambic style. And in tasting the Lambic, I wasn't really happy with the complexity all that much. It tasted okay, a little bit tart. But not quite what I wanted, but I also had an Ode Brun that, um, that was ready as well. And so what did I end up doing? I don't remember the exact ratio that I did, but I blended that Lambic with a little bit of that Ode Brun, and it gave it a nice um, complexity to it, a little bit more tartness, and just a little bit more dimension, made it more well-rounded. Um, so I packaged five gallons of that. After aging it on uh, three pounds of apricot puree. So it's a apricot 
lambic style, but not all the way lambic style because it's slightly blended with a darker brown sour. Uh, and it is tasting fantastic. I got um, three gallons of a beer that I'm incredibly proud of. It's the one that I tasted in the video um, where I was at the conference. Um, it's the uh, it's the Brett beer with currants. So I did three gallons. It was a blend of three different Brett beers. I believe one of the Brett had, um, I think it was purely dregs. I don't remember exactly the ones I put in there. I'm a bad note taker. One of them I believe was the Dirty Dozen from uh, East Coast Yeast. And I think the other one was Brooks. Um, I believe. Um, but I blended the three in different amounts into a three-gallon batch that I aged on 24 ounces of black currants and 12 ounces of red currants. Love this beer. It's fantastic. It didn't quite carb up as much as I would hoped. Um, so that's the only downfall for that beer, but unbelievably tasty. Really happy where that went. Um, I also did, I took, um, I had three gallons or so left of that Ode Brun. So I took that three gallon batch and it was okay on its own. Part of the reason I blended it with the Lambic because it was only somewhat, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't all that great by itself. So I racked three gallons of that Ode Brun, what I had left, onto uh, 45 ounces of tart cherries. And I just stuck one of those in the fridge because I'm going to taste that in a little bit. And from what I was tasting, it was really, really good. I was a little disappointed and then one of the first couple tastings. I tasted some of what people describe as like a cereal note. Um, kind of like, um, oh, what are you, like Captain Crunch, Cheerios. Um, tetrahydropyridine is what it is and it's an off flavor that sometimes gets produced when you bottle some sour beers I read this is the first time I ever encountered it I've read it's supposed to go away after a month or two in the bottle so I'm hoping I try it tonight and it's at least somewhat dissipated other than that the beer is awesome you get a nice like cherry and uh, lactic tartness right at the front but then it kind of dissipates into a bready deliciousness so I've got that one as well and then I did a couple other small things, in that, all in that same bottling. I pulled off a gallon of that Lambic itself, put that in a separate um, uh, Dimijon, gallon Dimijon, and I've got that ready. It's almost time for the goose. So I've got a one, it's probably older than, than so typically you do a two, three, and one year Lambic um, in a goose. But it's gonna, the three-year-old is going to be a little bit older than three and a little bit older than two, a little bit older than one. But I'm going to take it. It's going to be my first goose. So I'm going to do that blend here not too long. Um, then I got one gallon of that, also of that Lambic. It was a big batch of pseudo-Lambic, Belgian Lambic style. And I racked that onto a, a, a pound of figs from a buddy of mine's parents yard they have a fig tree so i went and got fresh figs froze them to kind of break down some of those cell walls and then i put it on the figs and that thing is crazy freaking good love it it is it's figgy it really is it's unbelievably cool last but not least i did another gallon off some of those brett beers that i had